just put that there. I'm at the offices of Just Good Friends Club here in Clown. I'm talking to... Trish Charity. That's Trish. Working hard, just here is... Elaine. Elaine. And number three, wearing a special t-shirt. Amy. Amy, let's have a look at the t-shirt, Amy. Just good friends, I love that. Right, back to the very beginning. Uh, as I said, I'm at the offices of Just Good Friends. Trish, tell me what Just Good Friends is all about. Just Good Friends Club is a so evening social club for adults with learning disabilities, predominantly evening. We have four clubs, one in Chesterfield, one in Bolsover, one in Whitwall and one in Pinkston. And we have a day club in Whitwall on a Tuesday at the Friendship Hall. You sound really busy. We are very busy. Yep. yep. And in addition to that, the, the bit that I have known best over many years is an evening. We have a nightclub event in Chesterfield, which is about approximately one every six weeks. And we've just opened one up in Derby as well. And that's going to continue hopefully every six weeks. And it's in a proper nightclub? Proper nightclub selling proper beer over a proper bar. Wow. No church halls, no? No church halls. Right. Uh, Elaine, a question. But how, how come we need a, a, a nightclub for people with a learning disability? Well, from our members of the evening social clubs, we were asked to take them to a nightclub event. And Trish and I were a bit horrified at the time. But we were sent an article about two nightclubs which um, were organised in London for adults with learning disabilities. So we thought, if London can do it, why can't we do it in Derbyshire? Absolutely. So we got a, um, a grant to take ourselves and a member to London, had an overnight stay, and we visited one of the nightclubs and both organisations that organised nightclub events. And they gave us a lot of um, information, a um, lot of advice. advice, and the confidence to do one in Chesterfield. So we came back and we opened up the nightclub in Chesterfield 10 years ago. So we've been round a few of them. We started at Livingston's, that closed down. We went to Escapade, that closed down. Went to Vegas Bar, that was refurbed. <laughs> went to the Evolution Bar, that was uh, refurbed. And we're now in the Vibe Bar. We've you're never closed one down. You're a sure <laughs> Jonas, everywhere you go, they should. Well, <laughs> we've never closed a nightclub though. We've, we've opened every time, whatever the weather. Even if one's been closed down, we've moved to another venue nearby. And uh, it's open to everyone with a, a learning disability, the friends, carers, and as Trish says, it's got a bar, so everyone has to be over 18. Absolutely. Um, Amy, how do you fit in? What do you do in this setup? Um, I've recently started as a support worker with Trish and Elaine. Uh, I've, I work every Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday at the social evenings. I work every night club and I come and volunteer in the office from time to time as well. But hey, we're looking for more than you. We need more volunteers. We need a lot more. So what do we need volunteers for? Um, <clears throat> we need help in the social evenings to make sure we've got enough people to support the people that we're working with because sometimes two and three people just doesn't cut it for the attention spans that everybody wants. Uh, we need the help in the night clubs because we just need to make sure that everybody is looked after and everything's nice and safe for them as well. Very good. Um, <clears throat> why can't they just go to an ordinary nightclub like everybody else? I wish they could. Uh, it's, to, it's to make sure that they feel safe in the environment that they're in and make sure that parents and carers are happy with where they are as well. Parents and carers can come with them to the nightclub? They can indeed, yeah. Yeah. So, uh, back to Trish. Uh, what about volunteers? You want volunteers <clears throat> to do what kind of setting? Nightclub and day? Both nightclubs and all the evening social clubs um, to help support uh, whoever's in. So uh, what kind of people are you looking for? <clears throat> Anybody with a bit of spare time that wants to come along and enjoy themselves really with these guys that we absolutely 
love and um, enjoy spending time with. So they um, need to have a qualification in dealing with people with a learning disability? Not necessarily. <laughs> we can learn it on the job. We do do DBS checks so that everybody is um, safe and secure. Um, but the learning on the job is, is how we tend to do it. Yeah. How do they pursue the whole thing? How do they get in touch with you? If they contact us via the office with, or the, any of the um, volunteer centres, they all know about us and they all know that we're looking for. But with, we've, uh, they can ring the office, meet us at any one of the clubs and we'll send on information. How do they ring you at the office? There'll be a phone number. Do you want me to give you the phone number? Absolutely, twice. It's 01246 913 267. You did that straight off the top of your head. Well done, that woman. Do it again. 01246 913 267. There's a web presence of some sort as well. We are in the process of um, organising a website. I can't but you've, you've, got, you've got a Facebook page. The Facebook page is JGFC. This is the one I keep getting wrong. J G F C just just good friends, friends club, club. club. <laughs> ah club comes in J F J G G F C club. It is at Facebook. Oh sorry sorry. There you are. You tell them, kid. <laughs> right. Facebook is that's on Facebook. But so we also have our an email, which that one is J G F C. Whitwell, a JGF Club Whitwell at hotmail.com.